Hello everyone. This is Miss Mary again. He, um, today we're going to start some stories out of the New Testament. So we're going to jump from studying about Moses to actually today we're going to talk about Zechariah and an angel that visits him. And we're going to work up to the birth of Jesus. So stay with me and we'll start our story. Okay, our story today is from the Free Bible Images. And it's called Zechariah Can't Talk. And we can find this story in the book of Luke, which is in the New Testament. Chapter 1, verses 5 through 64. This is a story found in the Bible of how Jesus' cousin, John the Baptist, was born. Zacharias was a good man. He loved to pray, and he helped in the temple at Jerusalem. But he was sad because he had no children. One day, while he was busy in the temple, the angel Gabriel suddenly appeared in front of him with a message from God. You and your wife, Elizabeth, will soon have a baby boy, and you must call him John, said the angel. This can't be true, said Zechariah. We're too old to have a child. To show that God sent me, said the angel, you will not be able to talk until the baby is named John. When Elizabeth was six months pregnant, her cousin Mary came to visit her. As Mary called out, Elizabeth's baby in her tummy was so happy, he began to jump. And just as the angel had said, Zechariah could not talk until after his baby was born. When he wrote, his name is John, Zechariah could suddenly speak again. Baby John grew up to tell everyone to get ready for the coming of God's son, Jesus, as the savior of the world. Okay, our story was brought to us from the Free Bible Images, and it was written by Jill Kemp, and the illustrations are by Richard Gunther. Okay, that's our story, and it started out as it's talking about a man named Zechariah. Zechariah was a very religious man. He believed in God. And he went to the temple every day to pray. And he and his wife Elizabeth wanted a baby really bad. And they were getting old. And an angel appeared to Zechariah as he was in the temple. And the angel told Zechariah that his wife Elizabeth was going to have a baby. And Zechariah had a hard time believing that. So he kind of doubted the angel. And because he doubted the angel, the angel told Zechariah, you're not going to be able to talk. That means you can't say a word until your baby is born. And so that's what happened. So for nine months, Zechariah couldn't say a word. If somebody asked him a question, nothing would come out of his mouth. He would have to write things down. And so, as our story goes on, Elizabeth has her baby. And this part wasn't in our story, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway, because it's in the Bible. Elizabeth has her baby, and the friends come around, and they want to see the baby. And they're all talking about, what are you going to name him? What are you going to name him? Well, Zachariah knew what he was supposed to name the baby. And 
the, his name was supposed to be John, because that's what the angel told Zechariah. But his friends were saying, oh, let's name him this, let's name him this. And Zechariah kept shaking his head no, because he couldn't talk. And people weren't understanding why Zechariah couldn't agree on a name. So finally, Zechariah took something and he wrote the name John. And so Elizabeth said, Zechariah wants to name the baby John. And everyone was okay with that name. And as soon as Zechariah made it clear that the baby's name was going to be John, he got his voice back and he was able to talk again. And so that's where our story leaves off today. And next time we're going to talk about the angel visiting someone else. Gabriel is a very busy angel because he visits Zechariah. And next time he's going to visit someone that we know really well, Jesus, Jesus' mother, her name's Mary. That's an easy name to remember. And he also visits Joseph, that's Mary's husband. And so we'll find out what the angel has to say to them. So until then, I hope you all have a great week. And I miss you guys in class. I wish we could have class again. Hopefully soon we will. Um, I love you. I miss you. And we'll talk later. Bye-bye.